Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, just wanted to kind of bring you a real quick uh, first uh, look and first impression of a new handgun that I picked up. Uh, of course, I was going through the guns that I have uh, and currently I'm running a, a 31, a 33, a 19. Of course, I got a shield here, 9mm. This is hot, coming out of carry. And uh, I had my Glock 30S. And out of all these guns, uh, the Glock 30S was kind of the odd man out. So uh, I decided I was going to go ahead and, and sell it and uh, take some of the funds, pay a few bills that need to be paid, and then roll the rest of it into a new handgun. I uh, wanted to pick something else up in 9mm. And uh, I went back and forth on two or three different guns, uh, what I wanted to get. And it ends up, what I, what I went with is this guy here. Uh, this is the Walther Creed. Of course, this has been uh, safety checked. Nothing in the chamber. Full magazine, which if you listen, I mean, this is going to be a blatantly honest review on this gun because I know I've seen a lot of reviews and they just love this gun. And it's a nice gun. I mean, don't get me wrong, but nothing. You insert the mag, which is kind of hard to get it to lock whenever the slide's not back. But do you hear that rattly? That mag's rattly, and it's not just that one. Um, you can put all these mags in. Each and every one I've tried. This one's not too bad. That's that's not bad. But uh, let's pull these two out too. This this is the uh, mag carrier from my uh, Smith and Wesson M2.0 45. These fit in it. And uh, we'll we'll talk more about that in just a second, but yeah, everything that one rattles. And like I said, sometimes they don't seat. If you're locked back, okay, they seat no problem, no problem. But if you got your slide down and you try to seat a full mag. You really kind of got to smack it. Yeah, that one rattling. So, uh, yeah, out of all these mags, and, and I don't know what it is, they don't rattle outside the gun. This one doesn't rattle. This is, this is a good mag here. I, I'll have to look at it and compare it. None of these others really rattle outside the gun, but when you insert it, so uh, I don't know if it's just poor engineering on their part for the mags, but uh, now that we got the mag out of the gun, we can go ahead and look at that trigger pull. And it is a pre cocked double action, which is a little bit different from a true double action where you have double strike capabilities. This doesn't give you double strike capabilities. It's pre cocked and it'll be double action, nice and easy. There's your trigger. And then when you fire, it's going to re cock it, let it drop back in, and then you're back on your reset. And I do have to admit, not a bad trigger. I mean, it, it's it's fairly crisp. It breaks really well. Of course, I mean, you've seen a million videos on this gun. I mean, I'm not telling you anything you've probably not already seen. Um, as far as the grip and uh, the, the, the high bore axis, I compared this to a uh, Canik TP9SF that we have in at work. It's almost identical. This thickness here, this same curve. I mean, I, I can try to roll in a picture here. I mean, you can see in the picture, it's practically identical. There's not a, a nickel's worth of difference between this and one of those canics. Uh, so I don't understand what people is complaining about. I mean, yeah, it's going to have a high bore axis. It's a hammer-fired gun. Uh, most of your hammer-fired guns are going to have to have a higher bore axis. SIGs have a very high bore axis. No one complains about them. Um, XDs, if you ever had an XD, they're a high bore axis. In 9mm, it really doesn't matter that much. Of course, uh, you've all seen how this breaks down. It's your basic uh, SIG Smith & Wesson style where you just rotate the lever. Nice thing about this, you don't have to pull the trigger. Of course, you have your uh, single flat spring on a uh, polymer guide rod. 
you do have a three-piece barrel which I've found interesting it's uh, pressed into an MIM locking part and then they do have a highly polished feed ramp that's put onto the barrel um, I know Ruger many years ago on the original P95s tried to run a two-piece barrel without a whole lot of success um, so we'll have to see how Walter is going to fare hopefully everything's going to be good of course you can see the internals fairly simple I guess I mean I got my grease on there I like to to run my red bearing grease but yeah nice trigger um, sights three dot which I hate you guys know that uh, my go to's like on my 19 here which now my 19 is my infidel uh, my go to's are these XS and I got a set on order for this uh, apparently this takes the same sights as a PPS so if you get one and you want to put sights on it just get the PPS sights and you'll be good to go um, picked up some extra mags they had them for a pretty reasonable price so I just couldn't pass that up uh, size wise do a quick comparison this would be a, a full size Glock of course once again for all the safety Nazis in the audience nothing in the chamber full magazine but uh, we do a quick size comparison and you can see they're they're very very comparable in size this is going to be quite a bit thicker but yeah overall your size is is going to be like a full size Glock although this has almost a four and a half inch barrel um, you're only going to be getting a four in this Walther so you are losing a half inch of barrel length and I think a lot of this is this mechanism here for your double action I mean, you gotta have room for the hammer and striker fired you don't need that so yeah just a real quick first look I like the grip very comfortable grip um, it is a, quite a bit like a PPQ minus the interchangeable back straps um, like I said can't stand the sights it'll be getting some XD's trigger pull feels nice decent size mag button but uh, like I said sometimes mags seat really easily sometimes they don't and this one doesn't rattle but for some reason and see that's one there that's that seated there it is these mags want to rattle so I don't know if there's a, a new uh, follower you can get for these or if there's some kind of fix Walter has in mind uh, I may go ahead and, and talk to them about it and see if they know there's an issue and uh, like I was saying on magazines real quick magazine carriers uh, standard metal frame 9mm these are my old mag carriers from my Smith & Wesson M&P and you would think uh, since M&P is kind of a standard 9mm mag that baby should fit right in there but it is snug it is not even about to go uh, it comes closer to fitting in the the ones for a Glock although uh, they're a little bit on the loose side and like I said this one was for the Smith & Wesson 45 that I had they're a little loose but they do slide in side to side so that gives me something to carry a couple mags in if I go to the range and this is just basically it's going to be more of a range gun uh, I'm not really going to carry it concealed mainly because of this thickness and and I have other options that I can carry concealed um, but it's going to be mainly a range gun uh, something just to take out shooting just to have fun with a nine millimeter and that's what I was looking for got into it at a super great price got mags extra mags at a really great price um, so this is a real quick first look uh, sites should be in Monday Tuesday get them put on maybe next Sunday uh, we'll roll out of here and do some shooting with this guy and put out a video on uh, how it shoots everything I've seen online says these guys shoot really well um, they're real accurate so I'm not expecting anything less um, but we'll go ahead and, and give that a try repurposed a holster of course this is the one that was for the 29 that got resized for the uh, the uh, uh, 320 SIG that then I used for the 45 and now I went ahead and wet it and, 
boned it in and resized it for the uh, the Walther. And uh, that's the beauty about leather. You can always wet it and resize it and, and get it to work. So I do have a, an inside the waistband holster, not that I'm going to carry that way. I also have a DeSantis outside waistband on order. Uh, so I'll have some, uh, some way to carry it. But yeah, just real quick first look. Walther Creed. Decent budget, price nine. Walther name, you can't beat their quality. Other than the mags, I mean, uh, I like the gun. I like what I've seen so far. My first impressions are two thumbs up. We'll see how it shoots. And uh, then we'll make final judgment. But until then, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You guys have a rest of your weekend. Be a good one. We'll be talking to you. Tennessee Frank out of here.